Hello Zed Heads, welcome back, it's ZedTube here and I hope you're doing well today. In this video I wanted to provide a very short tutorial on how to fix a corrupted save game for 7 days to die. Before I start, I will just say a few caveats which are that I am playing in Alpha 19.3 on the PC. As far as I'm aware this fix should work for all previous alphas of the game, however I cannot guarantee that as the game develops and that new alphas are released that this will continue to be a viable fix in the long term. This fix is particularly related to an issue which can occur when 7 days to die doesn't shut down properly. This could happen if you lose power or your game crashes for any other reason. I came across this problem recently whilst recording a tips and tricks video related to stamina. If you're interested in watching this video, stick around to the end of this one and follow the link where you can see that video. If 7 days to die doesn't shut down properly, what can happen is that the save file can become corrupted and it means that when you click on continue game on the start screen, your game just doesn't show up in the list of saves. Don't worry though as there is a fairly simple fix to this problem which should get your save file back and you should be able to continue your game. What you need to do is create a new game. You can call the new game whatever you want, however it is very important to use the same world seed and all of the same settings as the game that you are trying to recover. In my case the game was in the default Navis game map and it had the default game settings. Once you have all the settings chosen, just click start game and wait for the game to load up. The next step now is to exit the game and navigate to the folder where your save files are located on your hard drive. The default location is the one that's on the screen now and it is contained in your Windows user folder. I have also listed the file path below in the video description if that helps. Before doing anything you might want to do a backup of all your save files just in case anything goes wrong while you're doing this. You can copy the entire save folder to somewhere else on your computer so that you can always back it up if you need it. Something to note however is that before you do this you may need to enable the option to view the hidden items in the Windows navigation panel as the app data folder is a hidden folder in Windows and is not always shown to all users. 7 days to die saves your games by the world seed name so in my case the save game was on the default Navisgain map so I need the Navisgain folder however if using another random gem map you will need to find the folder of the world seed your game was in. Once you have found the correct folder for the world go to the folder for the corrupted save and delete the following files. There are four files called main.ttw, main.ttw.back and then two other files called the same but with load failed after them. Delete all four of these files and then navigate to the folder for the new game that you've just created in the same world. Copy the main.ttw file and then paste that file into the save game folder for the game you're trying to recover. Now you can load back into 7 days to die and your game should be back where it was before. You should have all the same items, skill points, game stage and anything you have built in the game and the world, however you will see that the game time will be reset back to day 1. You can fix this though by pressing F1 to bring up the console command and then type set time followed by the day number and then the time in the 24 hour format. Remember to put a space in between all of the three numerical values. This will allow you to reset the time back to where you left off. Hopefully this video was of some use to you and that you are able to recover your save games for 7 days to die so that you can continue your survival journey. If this video helped you out do me a favour click the like button, leave me a comment and click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos.